What's up, O-Doers? Nathan here. Service level agreements, or SLAs, describe the standard of service a customer can expect when they work with a company. SLAs lay out what we can provide for our customers and the timeline in which we'll deliver these services. When I make my level of service clear, my customers know what to expect and when to expect it. This helps me foster trust and boosts my company's reputation. So let's see how to create and apply an SLA policy in Odoo. First, I want to make sure the SLA feature is properly configured for my VIP team. To do that, I'll locate my VIP support team, click on the More Options button, and then select Settings. Next, I'm going to scroll down to the Performance section, and I want to make sure that the checkbox next to the SLA Policies feature is ticked. The Working Hours field below lets me define the days and hours my help desk team will work. We work a typical 40-hour work week, so I'll keep it set to the standard 40 hours a week. But let me also open up the Internal Link section via this blue arrow to make sure that everything is correct. Since these policies depend on our work schedule, I want to make sure that everything is correct and in the right time zone. In my case here, we're using America Eastern Time. Because we operate on the standard 40-hour work week, one work day equals eight hours. The average hour per day feature right here is great if you have contractors working part-time or non-standard schedules, factoring in weekends or days that are shorter than eight hours. Now that we have that settled and we're ready to create a new SLA policy for my VIP customers, for that all I have to do is click on configuration at the top and we're going to select the SLA policies option. From here, I'll click new to make a new SLA policy. And for the name, I'll enter two days to finish. Right underneath that field, I'm going to add a short description. So let's go with something like tickets must be completed within two business days. In this first section, we can set the criteria for this policy. I want to select my VIP support team for the help desk team. That way, this SLA policy only applies to tickets for my VIP customers. I'll leave the priority and tags field blank because I want this SLA policy to apply to all VIP support tickets, no matter their priority or tags. I'll also leave the customers field blank. Those fields are helpful though if you want a policy to apply to specific customers. In the target section, for this policy, I want to make sure that tickets reach the solve stage within two days. And since one workday is eight hours, two days would be 16 hours. So let's set the reach stage to solved and then within 16 hours. And I'll, ex I'll set the excluding stage field to canceled. So Odoo doesn't apply this SLA to cancel tickets. Great, we've created an SLA policy and applied it to our VIP support team. Now let's see what it looks like in action. To do that, I'm gonna click on overview and return to the main dashboard. And then we'll click on our tickets button for our VIP support team's card to reveal the team's ticket pipeline. All right, let's say one of our customers just contacted me saying they ordered a chair, but it arrived damaged. I happen to know this is one of our VIP clients, so I'll go ahead and open a support ticket for them under the VIP support team by clicking on new. Let me fill in the information for the ticket. For the ticket title, I'm going to enter damaged chair. And I'll go ahead and assign it to myself. And for the customer field, we'll enter Azure Interior. And then simply click Add. Once I add this ticket, I can click the Kanban card to open it. And we can see that Odoo has applied the two days to finish SLA policy tag. And the ticket has the SLA deadline based on the number of working days. The deadline here is based off of what we set in the previous setting. So if the deadline passes and the ticket is not closed, the SLA policy tag will turn red. If I click back to the VIP support ticket pipeline via the breadcrumbs here, I can see that the SLA ticket deadline on the ticket card as well. And if I click back to the help desk overview, I can see if my team currently has any open tickets where they have failed at least one SLA. It's not great, but we will make sure to take care of this one fast so it doesn't happen again. And there you have it. As you can see, SLAs are a great way to manage customer expectations and keep your help desk team on track. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn even more about help desk. But until next time, see you later, O-Doers.